Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button. So today we're gonna to be talking about Get Duped. <laughs> Get Duped is rated R. It's an hour 27 minutes long. It's considered a horror comedy, but of course, if you know me, you know I don't do horror. This movie is not scary. There's nothing scary about it. Otherwise, I would not have watched it. It was released on Amazon Prime on August 28th. It was originally supposed to be called Boys in the Woods. Um, it is, of course, a satire film. Honestly, when I saw the trailer, it gave me kind of the hunt vibes and ready or not vibes. Realistically, it has none of those vibes. I'm actually pretty shocked that it is rated R because it's not as bloody as I would have anticipated it to be or as gory or gruesome and like killing. There's really no killing actually involved, to be honest. Well, they're at the end, like one big killing. Apparently, this is based off of a real life program and I want to make sure I get this right. So this is a question for like all my people. Now, I'm assuming in Scotland, because that's where this is taking place but I don't know if it would be there or just like in England generally I don't know you guys yeah you can let me know down below called the Duke of Edinburgh award so is that a real thing if it is real did you guys participate in it did your parents participate in it let me know down below I'm very curious to know I mean obviously it would be minus the hunting portion of it but in get to we do follow four uh young boys uh three of them who are friends who are misfits who are delinquents who are basically forced to do this program because they were about to get expelled and then we do have the fourth boy named ian who is the goody two shoes who wants to play with the mother books who actually really wanted to be here because apparently doing this particular war looks good on your college application of course they are unaware of the dangers that are lurk lurking on the Scottish uh, Highlands apparently um, there are some very elite people who like to hunt these teenagers because of course they are the worst of the worst and they need to kind of take care of society and take care of you know make sure everything that stays like modern and right and we do follow the four boys who are going through these highlands to apparently build character and like teamwork and like just learn different things we do start off the movie kind of like this og like vhs tape showing you like what your this whole thing is about what you're focusing on and at the end of the the journey you're gonna get this really nice laminated certificate to say that you completed this at first you get it upset because you know there's obviously no cell phone reception but i think because they were guys they weren't as uh taken back by it it wasn't like really a main focus of not having your cell phone I and mean, we did use it at certain points when certain like dangerous approach but i feel like if it was like you know like teenage girls going around i feel like we would have gotten way more complaints about not having a cell phone and oh my god you know this is just and that so i really did appreciate the lack of focus on a cell phone because you know it could have been really annoying you guys are being hunted just by two people at first and then like at the end when we do get like the larger crowd it really doesn't last very long it's kind of funny how when they're like kind of standing by this billboard they truly just ignore the wall full missing persons notices all on there and we do also get the police involved but it is like a small little town the police obviously is just kind of like a joke in this movie literally their biggest case in the town currently is the bread thief literally there are children who haven't even tasted a baguette they're very blinded on what is really in front of them because again their biggest case is a bread thief when again we had a bulletin board full of missing persons it had its funny portions to it it had like its oh shit kind of moments they had a couple of like oh shit kind of moments literally just two oh shit moments again there's really like no like major like blood guts or like anything like that we do get like a lot of shooting going around a uh, nice little fork fight going around as well that's kind of funny and then of course the ending where it kind of just kind of circles back and we start all over again in that case though we do have girls that are now on their journey out guess get duke was a pretty decent entertaining time i don't honestly recommend for you guys to see it i feel like there's other better things to see i mean overall i'm honestly just gonna give it a small popcorn rating um if you've seen get duked uh what did you guys think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you of course let me know down below and of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time i post something new Till next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye